On behalf of ABAC 2017, I'd like to report to Excellency the issue that uh, business people. ABAC 2017 Chair, Your Excellency, President Chen Dai Kuang, Your Majesty, Excellencies, ABAC members, it is my great pleasure to warmly welcome you all to beautiful Da Nang. Each year we meet, we talk about issues of importance to us all, to Asia Pacific as a region and to business community and to all our individual economies, my colleagues and I recognize that this is both enormous privilege and great opportunity. Our valuable collaboration, if we were able to achieve our shared APEC vision, we all recognize the advantages and all the challenges of the great 
diversity of this region, collectivity of our economies are the ancient room of growth for the world, but harnessing the potential is our greatest challenge. APEC has long understood the need to develop inclusive, sustainable economic growth and recognize our different stages of development, the great potential that we will unleash if we embrace innovation in growing our region. However, AIBAC does not operate isolation of trend that swept the world, challenges of population, demographic, climate change, disruption of rapid technology change, safety and security of our community and substantial shift in political and e economic position and stability. Recently, there has been reassuring sign of economic recovery. This is the welcome good news that, un that means greater pro prosperity for our people and positive steps for further regional integration. But we are not in a clear water yet. There are significant dangers if we become compelling. AIBAC support non-discriminatory rule-based and multilateral trading systems as our best avenue for growth and defend against protectionism around the world. However, the trend toward protectionism has gone since the global financial crisis as the impacts of trade have led positively by some, but negatively by others. Indicators such as policy that build foundation skills, encourage through line learning to enable further reskilling for displaced workers, and policy that enable business to adjust workforce changes. As a business community, we know that greater, not less, liberalization in goods and service will create opportunities for our entrepreneurs and workers. And that is significant more to be done to encourage investment flow around the region. Investment remains key to trade and to all our economy, making the case for trade, building confidence in trade investment policy while recognizing the need to mitigate the negative aspect of trade. We should pursue policy that strengthen religion tariff barriers should be a regional priority. Clar clarify and consistent of rule across the sector through our region should provide significant relief to business and assist to build an APEC community that is more financially integrated and transparency and religion and connected. ABAC remain committed to vision of free trade area of the Asia Pacific as our greatest priority and the best way to achieve BOGO goals of free and open trade and investment in Asia Pacific. We urge the greatest progress in implementing the step outlined in Lima Declaration last year and will continue our strongest effort to support that work. As we quickly approach 2020, it is appropriate that ABAC community consider our future beyond BOGO goal, goal, that we think about what we want for our region and people in coming decades. In ABAC, we strongly believe an, an in, inclusive, sustainable, stable, and vibrant regional economy bring prosperity to all in a cheap goal. Uh, delicious. <laughs> <laughs>